belatedly welcome everyone here. <coughs> and uh, thank you all very much, my colleagues. The situation is deteriorating dramatically. Um, Khartoum's divide and destroy policy is working. Um, we're seeing, I think, the echoes of, of genocidal intent uh, on the part of Khartoum. A place that is um, completely off there, you know, to fulfill this mission, that's just going to prolong the, the time that it's Oxfam staff remains fully committed to remaining in Darfur and helping the people there, but are we, we are finding it increasingly dangerous and difficult to do so. We are basically at our breaking point. If it gets much worse, we will not be able to continue to provide this assistance. Um, thank you, Congressman. Um, I want to start by thanking the Congressional Human Rights Caucus for holding this. Um, Haskanita attack on Amis over the weekend is a, an obvious example of what will happen when peacekeeping forces are not giving a strong mandate and are not supported, um, that the system, supported in a way that the situation on the ground requires. Three weeks before the start of a new round of negotiations, we are on the verge of making the same mistakes again. If civil society is not participating in the talks, the outcome may be rejected by the people once more. This is not a strange idea. How could you expect the people of Darfur to accept a deal that has been brokered by the main culprits of the ever deteriorating security and humanitarian situation? Talk. It's very, very cheap and deadly uh, in, in Darfur. And it's the Bush administration and a few of the key European governments that have talked and talked and talked about the importance of this thing and are not stepping up remotely to commensurate with the requirements of this mission.